Hello, my royalties. How you doing? Still doing that moving, whole moving thing. It won't be for a while till I'm on here regularly. But I wanted to come on and show you guys um, this. It's a planner that this was originally one of my very first planners, which introduced me to planning, to the planning world. My very first one was this planner. It's called... Um, the Mormon mom planner and the maker is um or website is leafytreetops.com and I'll put that link in the description box below but it was one of the first planners that I got and I loved it then and then of course you know new it opened me up to the planner world and I got into happy planners and the mold terms and the ring bounds and disc agendas and just all the things. So, but anyway, she has, um, the first one that I got was the whole 12 months. That's been many years ago. I mean, like well over 10 years ago. And me and my daughter were talking about it because I actually got her into this and she had one back then too. And we were talking like, why did we ever really leave that? I think just because of the variations of being able to change and decorate and all that. But now I'm more so back to the original, more neutral, minimal stuff. So anyways, I'm not going to continue to talk all about this. I've already spent enough time. I'm going to jump into it and show you guys what I got. So this one is only from July to December. And, um... She has an array on the website, so you can get more. You can pick the cover. You can pick the way the layout is on the inside, and, and it is spiral bound. So here we are. This is the box, and this is small. It's like kind of like the B6 size. Um, the price was $20 plus shipping. Um, I picked this cover. It's a forever thing because although in my original or previous videos I've showed that I was going to not do scripture writing in a just plain scripture writing in a planner I wanted a planner that was designated planner notebook that's designated basically to my scripture writing my no, script my um study notes that type of thing and this is a neutral one so I picked this and walking with God is a forever thing so that's why I chose this one and I know some people are saying Mormon mom. Well, she has Mormon mom and then she has Christian based one. So you don't have to pick the Mormon one. The Mormon mom one is the original one she only had. But you could fit that in your lifestyle as well. I did. It worked just fine. But here we are. As you can see, it's small. It's my hand can fit over this whole thing. Just so you're aware, I don't have my ruler out. Otherwise, I'd measure it and share that with you. But. Yeah, I don't have it out. And so when we open it, it's very neutral. Like I said, it's already like, if you want to say pre-decorated, but it's minimalistic. So you don't have to add anything or do anything. And it's not overly decorative. And then it has all the tabs here. So it has July, August, September, October, November, and December. And then behind that, it has a section for Christmas. And it has a home and family section. So, um, when you open it, it has a year at a glance. And so it goes, sorry, let me get that back in frame. It goes all the way till next June. So it would end and then you get another one January. You could get another planner January to June. Or at that time, you could get the whole year at once. I like having half a year. It just works best. Um, and then it has the 22 to 20, year 22 to 23 as well. And then here is just some little places for each month where you can jot ahead notes. Like if you knew you had a trip coming up, you can put that in there already and just kind of pre-plan, plan the year ahead. And then here are all the birthday section for each month. And as you can see how it's decorated, kind of like all that. And I, I remember... When we had these before, it was already pre-decorated. And then they came out with all the washi tape and the stickers. And so I jumped on into that. And then it has a yearly um, section here. Let me pull that up a little bit for you. Appointments. So if you know, like, you know every 
I don't know, let's just say every August you need to have your car winterized or prepare for winterizing or tires rotated or oil change or, you know, dentist appointments and you know they're coming up, you can kind of plan your year out pre in advance. And then it has another section for that year plan. So, and then here we have like, um, symptom tracker. So if you started having any kind of health problems or your kids did, you can write the date down who had it and then what the symptoms are and just kind of keep, whoops, excuse me, kind of keep track of that so that, you know, when the doctor asks, well, when did this start? Because they always ask that. You guys know that. When did this start? Then you can, you already have it written down and you can say, well, it happened here, here, and here, and this is, you know, what I have. So, and then on this section is just some good paper and then you have important and handy information. Let me pull this up. So we have like your attorney, your accountant, your veterinarian, plumber, all those type of things, information for your car. So you kind of have it all at hand in this planner. And I really love that online accounts and subscriptions. You know, we always forget about those subscriptions. And we're like, man, I forgot about that. Or you try a seven day trial and you're like, I'm going to cancel this and then you forget all about it. And then you're like, where are all these charges coming from? I've done that. But anyway, and so then you have more health care information. I'm just going to keep pulling this up here to you guys so you can kind of see. You have who the family doctor is, the OBGYN, ER. You know, just a lot of personal information if you choose to put in here your prescriptions and all that because you know when you go to the doctor well I know when I do or even when we used to take my mom before she um left us um we'd be like what prescription how often and we'd have to take all the medication or whatever write it down separate it was just a big to do so you could kind of have that all here and you could leave it at home, just have it be a home planner. And then you got contacts. It, the choice is yours, but it's small enough that it can just go in your purse and you can go to the appointment, handle that, and then leave it at home after that. You don't have to always carry it around. And then here are thank yous. So when people send you stuff or do stuff for you, you can keep it, track of it, and know that you need to either send them something or whatever you need to do. And I like that each side has a graph paper because you could do whatever you need it to do on this side or just decorate it if you choose to or leave it blank. It's all up to you. Then here, maybe I just need to lower it and we can see better. And here are a few of your favorite things. So there, this, I just feel more comfortable doing this. Um, so we have favorite topics, favorite songs, favorite um, place, favorite person, favorite car, favorite hymns. Um, here on this side, we have favorite vacation, favorite activity, favorite store, favorite, you know, and it goes on. I'm not going to just keep reading this. So you could either write about it in here or you could take a picture and put it in here and you know, you could do it however way you choose to do it. Then here is um, Old Testament. So if you, it has a reading plan. So you could go through and mark off how you want to read through it. And there's the New Testament. So it has that. I just like that it has all this in one location, you know. And then we have some dot grid paper here. Just blank so you could do whatever you want um, there. And then we get into the months. And so here we have the Proverbs 4 and 13. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her for she is thy life. You know, and so then we go into each section has, and I'm not going to go through every single section because this video would be too long, but each section starts out like this. And I love this because it has, how can I strengthen my relationship with, and then with God, so you can drop down notes with your spouse, with your family, and then whoever else you want to put down here. And I just love that, you know, because we all can grow in relationships. And then you here you have your month, and this is how the month is set up. 
and you could choose to how you wanted your month and I just looked at this because I wanted mine I said to start Monday I do believe which it is not it started on Sunday so I'm gonna have to say that and the same here hmm all right well that's not good you guys are seeing it first time just like me so it was supposed to be a Monday through Sunday instead of Sunday through Saturday and I am gonna give her feedback on that because I did request oh well apparently it's not their fault it is my fault because I'm looking at the thing here and I put Sunday dashboard so that's my mistake I it was supposed to be Monday through Sunday and I screwed up so that's what happens when you when you don't pay double attention anyway back to what I was saying so we have it's the little thing so you could track whatever you want it there remember here um, and then you have this week so if you want to put down things a meal plan or what you want to do that week and then it just has a little tracking section if you want to do there and then here I pick Sunday mistakenly but I'm okay with that and then the whole week and then you still have a little space here and then the next day it's the same so basically that's how each month is throughout and then at the end of the month it just has some let me get here there we go so at the end of the month, it has some more where you could put um, any any kind of information you wanted or however way you wanted to use this chart. So week one, if you wanted to write down, you know, some notes or whatever important things you needed to use this for, you could use it however way you want for scriptures, for whatever you would like. And then it just has some more blank pages here with some um four sections and then some graph paper let me pull that down and then here search ponder and pray and then lessons you've done and then here you have notes to do and inspiration and then you have some more blank pages and then we start with the next month and each month is that way so you have August here, and I'm just going to flip through each month so you can see the dividers. Oh, a little too fast there. And here is the Christmas so this section is for Christmas so maybe some of you don't celebrate Christmas you could repurpose it a different way um, but this is where you would keep all the things for Christmas you know um, making a list checking it twice and then here are your little sections so it's a countdown for Christmas in here um, you could do that however way you want. Then here are all the to-dos and everything for you to organize Christmas dinner, meal plan. You could even start that now so that by the time Christmas rolls around, you have everything all planned out. Um, here is your gift planning. So you can plan the gifts, how much money you're spending. And I know when I celebrated Christmas, I did this when my kids were little. I started out way before Christmas I started out throughout the year so this would work perfectly and then I would know what I bought everybody who you know whom I was gonna buy gifts for what I spent and then by the time Christmas came I was done I was well done I was usually done by September October ish and so here's the um what your budget is here is stocking stuffers if you did any online shopping what your budget was what you spent you know what web page because you know sometimes we do forget and we're like oh, I did order that didn't I oh what happened to that you know and so here you are the store the item 
how much you spent did you get it was it okay so you can check that off then you have your full christmas budget you know party meals if you had to work parties or whatever um and it's just all laid out for you just so nice and you know just so nice parents in-laws everybody work church it's it's laid out so nice for you and i'm like for twenty dollars for all this nice planning because that's what it costs twenty dollars i think it's just great you know if you're doing a gift exchange Black Friday, if you're looking for a specific thing, item. And then um, Cyber Monday. So it's all laid out here for you. Christmas cards, who you want to send to, when you did it, and so on. Christmas books, Christmas movies. Just keeps track of everything. Then we have some more dot grid paper here. And then this section is family. And then it just goes into family ideals, working together, mission statement for your family, your rules, traditions, just, I mean, it's just a wonderful, I just love it. I love that it's the size of it. I love that it has all this information in it, um, that you can keep it at home, you know, zone cleaning ideas, divide and conquer. Here is a house of order because, you know, the Bible does say do everything decently and in order. And here you are, daily tasks. She just really, really plans this all out for you. And even things you may not even think about, but it will help you. And look at this, like emergency. Prepare for the emergency, the plan, everything you need, what you need to do, and check it off. And the way our world is right now, we never know, you know, even like with the pandemic and the things that happen. Here's your financial management. And tithing, just all the things. Vacation time, everything that pertains to a family. There's a couple of those. It's the little things, needs, wants. If you want to keep track of things people want, need, you know, school clothes are coming up. Things that kids want, things that kids need, birthday plans. Look at this. Keep track. Self-esteem, talents, hobbies. Just, I mean, she really thought of it all. And like, even our planners that we do ourselves, we don't think of some of these things. At least I know I never did until I, you know, and this was one of the reasons why it drew to me years ago because there was just so much and having five kids and at one point in time 17 kids in the household you know you just got to do what you got to do and make the best of what you got and it did help keep me nor no mm, organized and on task and then together forever and here we are some more and then all about you because you got to take time for you and what about yourself you know we do everything for family and friends and work and everything. But what about us? So it's its own little kind of self-care section. And then some more blank pages for you to do what you want. And then it has a folder here. This and that. So for whatever you want to put in though, it's two-sided pocket. And then you have a clear section for receipts. You could put money in there. You could put stickers in there whatever you want to do and then it ends and this is hard hard laminated like plastic but it's almost like that washi board so, so you could probably wash right on here with a wipeable or erasable marker and it would come off it's that type of product and feel and the pages are just they're soft and smooth good great paper quality you know but I just want to jump on and share that with you. It is spiral bound. She also does on her website have an unbound kind. So if you wanted to get the pages inside and put them in another planner, you know, punch them in your happy planner, punch them for ring bound, whatever you wanted to do. Just keep in mind they are this size. So, but look at that. It's not that thick. It's light and compact. And it's just great. It's just a great, um, in fact, if I put my glasses on here, you can see. That it's 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 not too small but it's small enough so 
that's what I have for you guys. So I just want to jump on and, you know, and share that with you guys. I will keep you posted. Um, you'll get a few videos dropped here and there. Again, I'm packing up everything and getting ready for this move and change in my life. So you guys will be seeing more videos hopefully soon. But until next time, thank you each and every one of you for being a loyal royalty. Thank you for the new subscribers. Welcome to the royal family. I appreciate each and every one of you. Please, if you like this planner and you've seen it, please leave a heart down in the description box below. I'd appreciate it. Um, you can always feel free to leave me comments. Please share, 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 share the videos. And until next time. May God bless you always. Toodles.